Today we will be taking a look at the Pangea Phone Holder plush set, one of the weirdest plush sets to ever be made. Now let's start with the first plush in the set being the Pea Shooter. This Pea Shooter plush is in a flower pot which is already a unique design and it has the words Plants vs Zombies on it in green and grey text. The entire Pea Shooter plush is just one solid color being dark green which is weird because the head is supposed to be a lima green which is kind of inaccurate. This plush has leaves which are made out of felt and they have little black designs on it to make the leaf look more like detailed. And in front of the pea shooter on the flower pot there's a little hole which you could put the phone in which is why it's called a phone holder. The inside of the phone holder is nothing special, it's just the same material as the rest of the plush but in a limer green. Now let's move on to the next plush in the set which is the sunflower and this plush is really weird looking. Now, for some reason, the face on this plush just looks a little off. Like, the Sunflower by Linkson is a lot better, but this plush is just has a weird face for some reason on it. This plush's petals are made out of felt instead of the nice material that Linkson made out of theirs, which I think they should have made it out of the same material as Linkson's, because felt just is just a weird material to use for the petals. And a weird thing about this plush is that the back of its head is brown instead of yellow for some reason. I don't know why Pangea did this, because it was a simple thing to do, but they didn't do it. And besides the head on this plush, everything else is the same, the leaves, the stem, and the phone holder itself. Now let's move on to the next plush in the set, which is the Cherry Bomb. Now this Cherry Bomb plush is just really weird looking. The only thing good I could really say about this plush is that the eyes are more accurate because they're yellow instead of white like Linkson's, but that's the only thing accurate about this plush. Now one thing weird about this plush is that the stem has only one leaf on it while it's supposed to have three so yeah for some reason that's inaccurate. And also for some reason instead of using the dark green leaves they had from the other plushes in the set like the pea shooter and sunflower they for some reason made a lighter green one for this for some reason which makes the plush even more inaccurate. And for some reason the teeth on this plush are rounded which just doesn't make any sense because they're not supposed to be like that. I don't know why Pangea decided to round the teeth because it just makes no sense. And yeah, the pot and everything else is just the same as all the other plushes in this set, so let's move on to the next plush in this set. The next plush in this set is the walnut. Now, the walnut in this set is actually pretty good. The only thing really bad about this plush that I could complain about is that the embroidery is the wrong color. For some reason, they decided to have brown embroidery instead of black embroidery, which just makes the plush look worse, but that's the only really bad thing about this plush. One thing I do like about this plush a lot though is that they added these three little details at the bottom which just give a nice touch to the walnut. It also makes it more accurate than any other walnut plush so yeah I do like this walnut plush a lot. And just like every other plush in the set it has the pot and a phone holder on it. The next plush in the set is the snow pea. Now there isn't much to say about this plush because it's the exact same as the pea shooter but just with a blue head. Like, they literally didn't change anything about this plush, they just gave it a blue head and called it a new plush. They didn't even change the leaf on the back of its head to spikes like the snow pea in the game, it just has a leaf for some reason, which is inaccurate. Now, there is actually a version of this plush that has slightly more detail than the normal snow pea in this set. This snow pea has a blue stem instead of a green stem, but that's literally the only other change they have in this plush. So yeah, overall, this is probably the laziest plush in this whole set because it's just a reskin of the pea shooter. Now let's move on to the next plush in the set, which is the Chomper. Now this Chomper plush is actually pretty good in my opinion. The Chomper, for some reason, has a brown mouth instead of a red one for some reason. I don't know why Pangea made this, but for some reason it just doesn't have a red mouth. But that's really the only bad thing about this plush. And one thing that I do really like about this plush is that it doesn't have eyes like the Linkson one. So yeah, for some reason the Linkson Chomper has eyes because it's based off of fan art, but this plush actually looks better than the Linkson one in my opinion. I would much rather this one than the Linkson one. So yeah, overall this Chomper plush is just really good and it has all the necessary details for a Chomper. There's also a second version of this plush which is more rare that has a brown stem instead of a green stem and that's really the only thing they changed. Now let's move on to the next plush in this hit which is the Scaredy Shroom. Now, this is the only Scaredy Shroom plush to exist besides the prototype made by World Max. And this plush is extremely rare, there's literally only one image of this, so yeah, you're just gonna have to look at this one image the whole time. And overall, I think Pangea did an okay job at making the Scaredy Shroom plush. This plush has a light purple cap with dark purple that looks to be like iron on circles on its head. I can't really tell what it's made out of though. The Scaredy Shroom has a white body and two little black embroidered dots on its face to show its eyes. It also has a white snout with a black spot on it to show where it shoots out of. Overall, since this is the only officially released Scaredy Shroom plush, I would say it's okay. 
but since there's literally only one image of it from one listing, there's practically no chance of you getting this flush. Now let's move on to the next flush in the state, which is the jalapeno. Now this jalapeno flush is probably my least favorite in the entire set. The first bad thing about this flush, it just doesn't get the jalapeno shape correctly. Another thing is, is that the stem and the green part on it, it literally isn't even the, on the entire top of the flush. It only goes over half of the top of the plush and the back of the head is just entirely red so it doesn't even cover the entire plush. The eyes also just kind of like bulge out for some reason because they're like white pieces of felt with black felt on it and a little bit of red felt to kind of show the eyelids but it just kind of goes horribly together. The mouth also just looks really weird for some reason. Overall, Pangea did a terrible job with making this plush and it's one of the ugliest plushes to ever be made. So yeah, let's move on to the next plush in the set, which is a bit better. The next plush in the set is the star fruit, and once again, just like the scaredy stream, it only has one image of it. Now, I would say that this plush is actually a good design of the star fruit. The star fruit is an entirely light yellow color and has a little light green stem on the top of it. It also has a little embroidered mouth with a little felt tooth sticking out of it, and the eyes are made out of felt with embroidery on it. It's kind of hard to tell if there's any other details on the plush because there's literally only one image of it that I could look at. But yeah, overall I would say that this plush is actually better than the Lynx in design of the Starfruit. But yeah, once again, I doubt that you'll ever get this plush because it only literally has one image of it from one lot. Now let's move on to the next plush in the set which is the Kernel Pult. Now one thing bad about this plush is that the Kernel Pult is just too small. But besides that, I think that Pangea did an okay job with this plush. The corn is actually pretty detailed with darker spots on it to make it look more detailed and it's a fur texture. The eyebrows are stitched nicely and have a good design to them. The eyes are also very accurate. The leaves on this plush are just like a little wide for some reason. It just kind of goes around the plush weirdly and doesn't look too well stitched on. I'm guessing Pangea took high notes from like Linkson because this plush looks really similar to Linkson's Colonel Pult, but this plush is just on a pot instead. So yeah, this plush is pretty good looking, but probably because it's copied off of Linkson very heavily. Now let's move on to the next plush in the set, which is by far my most favorite in this whole set. The next plush in the set is the Cobb Cannon. Now this plush is actually unique because it doesn't have a paw, instead it just uses the wheels on it, and it, which I think is actually a pretty good detail by Pangea to do. And instead of the phone holder being on the pot, since there is no pot and this plush is on the center of the head on the Cobb Cannon. So the cob on this plush is made of the same material as the kernel pull on this plush. This plush has a dark green body with dark green eyelids with the white eye and a red pupil on it. I'm glad that they added the eyelids to this plush because it makes the cob cannon look angry which is accurate to the game. The cob itself is held up by a gray material which is supposed to be the wood I guess. The wheels on this plush are also made out of this yellow material, but we can't see if there's like centers of the wheels or not. Overall, this plush is by far the most detailed in the whole set and is the most high quality in the whole set. Sadly though, this plush is extremely rare and only has one image of it in the same listing that the Starfruit was in. Now let's move on to the final plush in the set and the only zombie plush in the set being the zombie hand. So yeah, this plush is probably the weirdest in the whole set because it's literally just the hand of a zombie. This plush is in the same flower pot as the rest of them, but instead of having green on the bottom of the flower pot, it has this like the same color as the flower pot itself being like a brown material. The zombie hand is green and it has white nails on it which are really long. The nails are also kind of like weirdly shaped and pointy. The zombie has a blue sleeve and under the blue sleeve there's a little bit of white there. The white on this plush just kind of looks like the under sleeve of the blue sleeve. Overall, this plush is okay and it's really unique because there's no other plush like this that is just literally just a zombie hand. And I think it's really unique that Pangea came up with this and decided to make it. So the cob hand in this set is my favorite, but what is your favorite plush in this set? Comment that down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.